Hello there everybody and welcome back to Zeo Drifter. Now, when we left off we explored a secret we couldn't get to, but... Memory serves. Yep. Couldn't remember where the hell it was. Look, you... See, look. And another health upgrade. That one at least we can get to. Lots of lovely health. Useful for all those bosses you have to fight. Actually, strictly speaking, there's only like seven bosses in this game. Stop running! Nope, can't get to that one yet. Giant brick with an eyeball. Because apparently, why not? Ah, oh, right. Yeah, stop doing that. Switch to the back. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Equip on the subscreen. Give me some more speed. This game... more people should play this game. I, I do hope that if you're sitting there watching this thinking, actually this game looks pretty fun. You've gone out and bought it. It's not that expensive, it really isn't. More than the manageable price, I promise you. Back to the green one, I think. I think. Save. Need to save. Don't want to lose all that progress. If I die again. Um, that's right, there was a thing up there. Actually, yeah, I've got all the items here. I should probably only come back here later on. I've got half of the weapon upgrades. I can't remember how many life upgrades there are. I've got two, four, six, eight, nine. If memory serves, I think there were twelve. Um, don't quote me on that. So we've done everything we can do in the orange until we get to the last one. We've got blue, but I'm pretty sure blue was the last place we went, which means strictly speaking, it's pink next. I wish you looked at the map before I started driving my ship around. Whoop, wrong button. I think it's this place. We can hope. Okay. Whoop. Thanks for that. You're so helpful. Having a big long ass conversation about where the hell I'm gonna go next. Oh yeah, I meant to tell you this earlier actually, I completely forgot. I had the most bizarre thing suddenly just crop up on my yay. Uh on my um YouTube thing. I was sort of checking sort of the Whoa, stop running please. I was checking the um uh, the views on my videos and like, um, you know, I'm not really sort of popular enough to sort of... Have I already been up there? I have already been up there. Can I get... Did I manage to get the thing that was up there or did I not? I probably did. Yeah, I did. Okay, just check. Um, and so I was checking my YouTube views and I noticed a rather sort of... I guess you could call it an irregularity. Um, I'm not really popular enough to get like thousands of views on a, or even hundreds, let alone thousands, <laughs> like I wish. Um, usually when I upload a video, it takes about a week for the uploads to get, well, above zero. <laughs> uh, 
And it's a slight um, understatement. It usually takes a couple of days before you get a couple of views knocking around and it goes from there. But I noticed, sort of bizarrely, that my fourth episode of my Stasis Let's Play um, was at like 200 and something views. I was just like, what, what the hell? Why does that one video have like so many views? It didn't make any sense. Like literally, like, you know, it's like episode one, three views, episode two, four views, episode three had I think four views as well, then episode four, 230. Like, okay, uh, what the hell? <laughs> so, a friend pointed me to Google Analytics, which, oh, Google Analytics, YouTube Analytics, what, what did I say Google Analytics? I don't know. Um, I'd never had to use them before, because I'm not popular enough to really care where my views come from. Um, and so I looked at it, and he says, you know, you got to go into the sort of, go into your sort of menu, and then you check out analytics, and, you know, look at the thing, and it's like, yep, yeah, it's 230 views, it's like, not a mistake or anything. He's like, well, that's cool. Where the hell did you get those from? I was like, I have no idea. Okay, well, you have to click on the actual episode and look at the link and see where they've come from. Because I, I, I don't use Google Analytics. Google, stop calling it Google Analytics, you idiot. I don't use YouTube Analytics all that much because I never had need of it. Seriously, again? Come on, come out of there already. You can break it, but I don't have the right ability yet. Ah, so, I was just like, whoa, what the fudge, where was that? Okay, that was a thing. Ooh, you know I mean? that, there you go. Come on. Again. So I went looking for it and they all come from this one website which was called um, mygaming.co.za and so I did a Google search and it turns out to be a South African website. Yeah, South African. All from South Africa. All these views. Bastard, that's cheating and you know it. And I died. Fortunately, it gives you a checkpoint. Right outside the room. Um, it's because I'm partially I'm trying to focus on telling you this story. Shield. Um, so yeah, they all came from this website, mygaming.co.za, South Africa. I was like, what the hell? Why, why am I getting views from South Africa? What the hell is that about? Turns out, they used that YouTube video uh, to uh, as, as a feature. They'd actually embedded the video. Huh? 
and I guess the whole sort of point of the thing was that um, they were showcasing times when South African, and for the record, the article was in perfect English, you know, absolutely no problem there at all. Which I did think was odd. I guess people in South Africa can speak English perfectly well, so that's a thing. There we go again. And yeah, they 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 used that's that's the good thing. Um, solar flare. And you can turn this thing on and off here. And you see, in my mind, this is what sort of proves that it was a 3DS game. Because if you think about it, this screen here would have been the touch screen. This would have been what you saw uh, on the bottom screen of the 3DS. And then this would have been the top screen, which is why you have the 3D effect. Which, you know, makes perfect sense in my mind. And so the idea you have to go into this menu to turn this weapon on and off every single time is a little irritating. Thank you. So yeah, this random South African article had featured my video in, and it was about um, times when South African accents had been accurately represented in video games. A slightly odd thing, but okay, you know, whatever. Yeah, you know, I'm not gonna complain about that. Apparently, they're not um, shown very well. I just like, and apparently, it was Dr. Milan, the villain of the piece, um, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen my uh, <laughs> Stasis Let's Play, and apparently I didn't really register, I knew he had an accent, but I didn't register the location he was from, he had a um, South African accent. Yes please. And they'd use my video to sort of showcase that Stasis was a game where that was a thing. But do you want to know what pissed me off the most about it? I couldn't care less that they used my uh, video. It got me 230 views. I, you know, I'm, if anything, I, if, if you follow my Twitter, and I know that anyone listening to this probably doesn't because I have like no subs on Twitter whatsoever. Actually, I'm going to go back a second. Let me just... I've got a thought. I mean, I got 230 views out of it, so I'm not exactly complaining. What annoyed me the most was I didn't get any fucking subscribers. <laughs> I mean, I'm not doing the whole, you know, view, who can get the most views, who can get the most subscribers thing. That, in and of itself, that doesn't bother me, but 230 people viewed my content. Presumably just to listen to the thing, but no one thought, actually, this guy might be worth subscribing to, maybe? A little, it, it's, it's a little, it's not really irritating as such, although it's a little galling. I guess. Ah, it's one of those things. Ow. I don't do that. Okay, so... We just got... I think there's one item in this area that we haven't gotten yet. I think. So let's go and get that. Get it out of the way. Whoa! I don't know if it's in a, a health or a weapon upgrade, but uh, should be good fun. A long way to go to get to it, which is slightly annoying, but uh, we'll be alright. I hope. So 
So that was the slightly bizarre thing that happened to me the other day. I say slightly bizarre, it was just a bit weird to sort of log in and see that one video that you produced, just one single video has 230 views. It was... Well, yeah, it was it was a bit odd. It, it came out of nowhere, you know? No, I'm not complaining. Like I said, if you follow my Twitter, I did actually tweet about it, and I said, hey, thanks for that. That was very nice of you. I didn't get a reply or anything. But I wasn't really expecting one. You know, they happened to feature somebody's video, and he said, thank you. That's probably not even going to register as a thing in their mind. But it was still nice of them to do it. Because they didn't have to. I mean, you know, they could have just taken the video itself off of YouTube and use that. Although that might have been a little more questionable legally. Just embedding a video, I suppose, is far, far, far more above board, I think. Far, far more. We're done in the pink room. Planet, I suppose. I should probably actually point out, um, it just sort of dawned on me that, see, I, I never used it, which is why it's only just dawned on me. You can actually have here, as you can see, different systems. So if you want to switch between, so on this one, I've got fast speed and, um, you know, uh, attack power. But on this one, say you wanted something that focuses on uh, spread and waviness, or speed and waviness, say, or speed and spread, something like that. You could use alternate ones like this just to switch between multiple things really quickly. Personally, I don't bother with that, because, you know, what's what's the point? <laughs> if you, speed and attack power, I'm pretty sure are the only things that really matter, you know, as long as you can fire straight, it's good. Which I suppose is probably why they never used a diagonal thing in this game, because they didn't want you to. You've got your boy. I think, you know, thinking about it, I think the first one, the one that I said I probably couldn't identify, off the top of my head, that might be distance. Like how far your shots go before they dissipate. So the equivalent of like the long beam from Metroid 1. Pretty surprised that. I'm thinking about it, it's kind of odd that that, uh, well I say odd, it's probably <laughs> because it's a slightly irritating feature to have your, uh, shots not go far enough. So the only place we've got left to go is... You, isn't it? So in that case, I'm going to go and pick up, hopefully, all the items from here. I don't know if I can, because I am still missing that one final, uh, Item. We've got to go all the way to the far end of the place to get there. Oop, come on, down you go. That's that. Stop that! You're being annoying. <sighs> honestly. Sometimes you honestly think that these creatures just don't want to die. And frankly, that's just rude. should be happy to die for me. Whoa. Stop that. Where am I?
No? Are we still going? Oh! Yeah! Another health point. No complaints here. And I remember this too. Uh, nope, that's not the one. Gun. Boop. Oh. Oh. See, I will say that's the, the only slight annoying thing about the fact that because this is obviously made for a 3DS rather than, you know, straight on the PC, uh, you do have to go into the menu to change it all the time. But it's only, it really is a tiny, tiny, tiny little niggle. The rest of the game is great, other than the fact it's, as I say, slightly short. But, you know, it's one of those things you just sort of learn to cope with. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. So I've got 11... Two, four, six, eight. So we've got eleven health and nine gun. So I think we're getting somewhere. Oh Christ! I am completely over time for this episode. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Might be the last episode. I might be able to squeeze five episodes out of this. Really not sure. We'll see how it goes. Thank you all for watching, everybody, and goodbye.